Hey, everybody, it's the coach. Welcome to the special Saturday edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Straight ahead, we've got what should be a good one between the New York Giants and the Washington Redskins. With that, let's get on up to FedEx Field near Washington. Standing by for the call of this one, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. And coach, we find ourselves due east from our nation's capital at FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. Just a few moments ago, it was the Redskin defense being introduced and the largest cheers went for their Pro Bowl quarterback, Josh Norman, as he and his guys get set to do battle with the New York Giants. Brandon Garden, Charles Davis, happy to be with you. And Charles, we've got two teams who know each other extremely well. These division games, they tend to be battles. People scout like crazy in this league, but no one scouts more than within the division. Because if you win your division, you're automatically in the playoffs. That puts extra emphasis on these games, and they can't wait to get at each other. Dustin Hopkins has it on the tee, and here we go from our nation's capital. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So here are the Giants ready to start their initial drive of the game. They'll be led out by the veteran quarterback, a multiple-time pro bowler. It's, of course, Eli Manning. An extremely durable player. Had 210 consecutive starts in the NFL before missing one in 2017. And when you have to deal with him in the playoffs and a Super Bowl's on the line, Eli Manning's at the top of his game. On the ground, this is Saquon Barkley. And it worked his way across the 30 to the 32. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Now Manning throwing on second down. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. First down carry for Barkley. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. The New York Giants offensively, their starters, and one guy out wide to take a look at, Sterling Shepard. A really mature man in every way coming out of Oklahoma. Personally and professionally, you can play him out wide, play him in the slot, he can return punts for you. He's a dynamic playmaker. On play action, it's Manning. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. They were trying to get it there to Sterling Shepard. And it's third and five. Carter, your thoughts on this D-line? I love a unit that can control the run and get after the passer. This is an all-around terrific defensive front. Hard to move the ball against them on the ground. And then when you want to throw it, look out. Here they come after the quarterback. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Working from the gun, Manning. He finds Beckham complete. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. 
23 yards on the play. So Manning to back him in this defense, they better hone in on that connection. It's almost like an electrical charge for him, isn't it? When he catches the first one, I'm talking about OBJ, he just goes to the huddle and says, more, more, more. And really, he, he's just one of those guys that once he gets going, look out. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now a first carry for Jonathan Stewart. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest game. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. All right, Brandon, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. Manning to throw on second down. Over the middle, he's got his tight end, Ingram. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. 23 yards on the play. His passing's been on point on this drive, hasn't it? Been very accurate. Gotten the ball downfield, gained nice chunks of yardage. But now, in this situation, the field is really condensed, partner. So if he's going to throw the football, that would be pinpointing here. As I was going to ask you about that. Field shrinks, has to be sharper, but it's been a good opening drive so far. Now they just want to see if they can cap it off with the bell ringer and put it in the end zone. First trip to the red zone for the Giants. They've got it first and goal at the six. First and goal, Jonathan Stewart. So he got three of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. Only a yard on the pickup there, second and goal. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Now Manning. And he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. Now we've got third and goal coming up, and couldn't you imagine being in that little partner? You know they're looking at each other saying, we can't come away with just three points after this drive. Yeah, they've covered a lot of ground. They want more than that three. This Washington defense, they've stood tall the first two plays. Now third and goal. Manning. And he finds Shepard. Touchdown, Giants. Russell Shepard from three yards out. And the Giants take it right down and score on the opening drive. Well, that's about as quick of a passing touchdown as you'll ever see right there. Everyone has a section in their playbook called the quick game. That was a super quick game. Out of the hands of the thrower, bam, right to the receiver, successfully for a touchdown. How in-depth is that quick game part of the playbook? It's pretty in-depth because people want the ball out of the hands of the quarterback into the playmaker's hands downfield as fast as possible. There are a lot of plays, a lot of options involved with that. look that's what the technology is for and this touchdown will count Aldrick Rosas on for the extra point Rosas good with the extra point and it's now a 7-0 game so the drive goes 75 yards 10 plays and it was finished off by a touchdown by the New York Giants
Rosas now to kick this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he elects not to bring this one out as his guys will take over at the 25. So out comes the Redskins offense now onto the field. They'll be led out by the number one overall selection back in 05 out of the University of Utah. It's Alex Smith. I think one of the things that attracted people to Alex Smith initially was his mobility, and that's never changed. That guy's a great athlete, but he's so sharp with the football, so accurate, and takes care of it so well, he rarely puts his team in bad situations. Smith and the Redskins will come up now first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Now the first carry for Adrian Peterson. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. And the big boys up front in the trenches. What do you think of the O-line, Charles? I love them because this is a group that's so cohesive. They know what the man next to them is going to do at all times, and they operate as a terrific unit. Well, they had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. Second down, Peterson. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. It'll be a loss of one, and that's going to lead to a third and 11. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral-type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Right. Right. Set right, Out of the gun, Smith. It'll be a gain of eight yards, and it'll be fourth down. So on fourth down, the Redskins are called on Tressway to punt it away. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. And the Giants ready to come out now. And they'll be looking to make this a two-score advantage. Had the touchdown on their first drive, Charles. Hey, they can get up two scores here on the road. That's a heck of a start. And not only have they thought about it, I wonder if they visualized it. I remember playing, and they used to turn the lights out in our meeting room and run through a situation like this and say, just think about what it would be like to be up on the road and take the crowd out of it. Maybe they did some of that. Manning and the Giants come up now first and 10 at the 20. They start on the ground. This is Stewart on first. Gets this to the 24 for a gain of four. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action and hit them over the top. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. Second down, here's Manning. Looking sideline, incomplete. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. From the gun, it's Manning. Open man right side is Ingram. Now the ball comes loose into the Redskins. How did they do? Good job, good job. 
The psychology of the game never ceases to amaze me because you would think there would never be a fumble from what we hear from coaches all the time, right? And how much they practice not fumbling. Practice it, preach it, talk about it all the time. You would think no one would ever turn it over. Yet they are humans out there running around. And we just saw another one. Opportunistic by the defense. The Redskins offense now, they get set to take over here. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Giants come up now first and 10 at their 38. So the fumble recovery and now Manning. Over the middle to back him. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Well, that's the Kickstarter right there. Eli Manning finding his guy, Odell Beckham Jr. Yeah, the, it's a deadly combination, isn't it? It really is, but what really makes it work is just how unflappable Eli is with his demeanor, able to maintain his calm and his poise, because we know OBJ, he can run pretty hot and get excited out there. Sometimes just one-handed grabs for him. It doesn't matter what it is. <laughs> just throw it up there. He'll go get it. Manning now already over 100 yards passing in just this first quarter. It's first and 10. to throw, it's Manning. Throw left side, complete to Ingram. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. We'll give him 10 yards on that one, and that'll earn him a fresh set of downs. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. Manning now 7 of 10 here in this first half, and he's got a first and 10. Throwing is Manning. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off inside the 10, and the return goes up to his own 17-yard line. Oh, man, Brandon, not a real good throw that time. He looked like he tried to put a little too much air under this one, and it turned into a floater. And defensively, this is a dream. He could have fair caught that one. That was way too easy. Skin offense now as they get set to begin another possession and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. Smith and the Redskins will come up now first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. The safety landed Collins there to make the tackle. And this defensive line will be looking to control the point of attack. And that's what they've done throughout this season. This is a terrific unit. They play together very, very well, and they don't permit big plays to happen. I 
to throw on second down to Smith. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. They were trying to get it there to Josh Doxson. And that takes us from second to third down. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. A shotgun snap for Smith. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Richardson. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. We'll check on his status when we get back. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Smith on first down. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. So the drive takes them into Giants territory now, first and 10 at the 48-yard line. And off comes to Peterson. Oh, nice move. <laughs> and he'll be taken down right around the 41-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. Peterson. He'll fight forward for a couple down inside the 40. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. Smith going to throw on third and one, and that is incomplete you absolutely have to have this early on right third and short they elect to throw for it and that's normal NFL football they're gonna throw on third and short but you've got to hit it don't you yeah in the first quarter like you said to set the tone can't connect there so now they're gonna send out the field goal unit to as they say fire away from long distance this will be from 56 yards out And this one will not get there. It's off to the left anyway. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. And our players spotlight now as we turn our attention to Eli Manning. He's had one of those games that any quarterback loves. Not only being able to complete some passes, but some deep passes. And it's pretty to watch. I mean, it's an absolute joy to see, but let's face it. We got to give a little bit of credit where it's deserved, right? Well, the protection's been great. Protection's if that's where you're been, going. The objection's been phenomenal, but how about how it's been spotlighted, right? Our producer, Christian McLeod, our director, Kyle Burt, the rest of the crew, what they put together with these images and pictures, 
If you're an offensive lineman, that's what you're taking with you to contract time. <laughs> They're going to have a lot to take to contract time if this continues. So the missed 56-yarder, and now the flip side. Good starting field position at the 46 near midfield. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw, and he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. Here's a give to Barkley. And he's got it across the midfield, striping into Washington territory. It's a four-yard pickup there, and it leaves him with third and five. The completion on first didn't get much, and now the run on second doesn't get a whole lot either. Well, if you're a good play caller, you've already looked ahead and anticipated this type of situation. Already down in his play sheet, trying to dial up a big third down play. From the gun on third down, Manning. And this is going to be incomplete. I'm not sure we could spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or passed it. Either one was available. They chose to try and get it through the air, but they were unsuccessful. Fourth down, so on is the punter, Riley Dixon. the Redskins now. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, get this a little time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, Less of a field goal attempt for him. Smith and the Redskins will come up now first and 10 at their own 22. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Now you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Space to maneuver at the 40, and all the way up to the 45-yard line. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. What makes a draw play like that successful? Well, we did see where he made the first wave miss, and that was a big part of it, but a lot of it is just being actors back there, making the defense think it's going to be a pass. First down, here's a run with Peterson. And he'll only get a yard, maybe two, up to the 46. Well, he's looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple yards out of it. Because those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. They'll try the air now with Smith. It's brought in by Harris. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. The Redskins on third down. Just one for three thus far. This time they face a third and two. Set, 
Now it's Smith off the bootleg. Jordan Reed has it. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Smith finding his big tight end Reed for a Redskins first. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. So two first downs, and that moves the ball to the 42 now, first and 10. Now a first down throw, it's Smith. And the giant rush gets home as down he goes. Olivier Vernon in there to drop him, and it'll be a loss of about eight. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. From the 50, it's Smith. Out to the left here to Reed. And all the way down to the nine. Big yardage that time for the Redskins. 41 yards. Well, from an offense's perspective, that sure was pretty because the corner route, it's extremely difficult to defend from my perspective. What we just saw there, is that sort of the evolution of the tight end position? Yeah, I think it is because more and more, tight ends are being treated like wide receivers. These are some agile players who can make a play in any spot on the field. Redskins with their first trip to the red zone thus far. They're looking at a first and goal from about the nine. They'll run with Peterson. That's a strong running. He pushes forward for maybe three down to the six-yard line. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. From the gun, here's Smith. This will be caught at about the five. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Only able to pick up two, and that leads us to third and goal. They missed a field goal on their last drive. Here they need something to even get into field goal range on third down. Now Smith on third and goal. And that is caught. Touchdown, Washington. Maurice Harris from four yards out. And the Redskins are an extra point away from tying this thing up. And down near the goal line here, they're able to throw it in. And the key word, quick. Quick hitter out of his hands fast, into the receiver's hands even faster. Dustin Hopkins on now to add the extra point. Hopkins with the extra point, and we are tied at seven. A touchdown apiece here in this first quarter of play. Seven all is the score. We'll head back to FedEx Field after this timeout.
The NFL on EA Sports is fueled by Gatorade, the sports fuel company. Back live, Charles Davis to my right. I'm Brandon Gordon. It's Redskin football to begin quarter number two, as we'll see one following the score on the final play before break. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Here's the giant offense now as they get ready to take over here. And last time out, they had to punt the football away. Anything positive possibly to take from that? There always is when, when you're punting the football away. It doesn't sound like it because you're giving it up. but. You've avoided a mistake. At least you didn't turn it you over. You didn't I turn guess. it over, right? You're giving it, you're giving your defense a chance because you're punting the ball away and they're set to go on the field as opposed to sudden change after a turnover. And wow, now you got to go out there and stop people. So yeah, there's always something bad to be gained from it. They'll start out on the ground and Saquon Barkley, and he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there. Second down. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. And they had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. They stay on the ground. This time it's Stewart. And not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. Call it about a gain of three, and they'll be looking at a third and seven coming up. Nice job there defensively on third down. Not only did they string the play out, but they didn't allow any room for a cutback. Really well organized on the defensive side. The Giants on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and seven. Shotgun now for Manning. It's caught, Shepard. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up the first down. Stewart on first down. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. Now Manning throwing on second down. It's hauled in by Shepard. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage. And that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, a sharply run route. Again, zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area. So you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. Manning now hitting on two-thirds of his passes, 10 for 15 so far, first and 10. Working from the gun, Manning. He dumps it off to Barkley. Dropped at the 35, able to display his agility, but not much room to operate. A gain of four on the play, and it'll make it second down. 
I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Operating from the gun, Manning to Barkley on the check down. And he gets it down to the 32. Give him three on the play, and just like that, it's third down. Well, it's tough to be a defender in today's NFL because there's so many things to account for in today's passing game, including the back sneaking out of the backfield. Not quite as bad as a turkey bowl where you have that center eligible stuff, but still a lot of guys to account for. The Giants on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This time it's third and three. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And he's got the first, but we also have a flag on the field. And they're already walking backwards. Holding offense. So on the big tight end, holding. Down. Each and every year, we talk about very few tight ends coming into the league that are polished blockers or are asked to do it a lot in college. So it's a constant struggle and a constant fight to learn how to do it without holding. And this third down looking very tough after the holding penalty. Third and long. Again, they'll throw with Manning. And Ingram holds it in. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Evan Ingram, 40 yards. And the Giants are in for six. And nowadays in NFL football, you have to account for all the receivers, sure. But the tight end, such a weapon. And they prove it right there. Oh, without a doubt. And we're seeing now the golden age of tight ends catching the football. I go back to Kellen Winslow. Uh -huh. To me, he was a prototype of what we're seeing today. We're seeing it each and every week now. Rosas to add the extra point. PAT up and good by Rosas. And that makes the score 14 to 7. So that drive goes eight plays. And it was polished off by a Giants touchdown. Rosas now to kick this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. Alex Smith and the offense heading out for their next possession. Been a decent start for him here in this first half, but bottom line, his team's losing. They got to fix something. And it starts with him. He has to keep that little quarterback strut going right now to make sure that his team sees him as confident. Continue to try and up his game, but just let him know, hey, if I'm around, if I'm the one calling signals and throwing the football, just follow me, we'll get there. Sometimes that will do more to elevate a team than anything else. See if he has that confidence. Smith and the Redskins will come up now first and 10 at their own 24. On first down, Smith. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. 
Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with a football? Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line or he's near you. So you're able to just get it to him easily. And once he gets in space, that's usually a good matchup for him. Smith now hitting on 80% of his passes in the early going. 8 of 10. It's first down. Set, line, 80, cut. They give it to Peterson. And now running right through it. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping... Those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Hey, hey, hey. You got three. Set. Line 80. I got Geis with a carry on second down. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. So nothing there, but maybe you blame that on the blocking. Yeah, at some point, you've got to win at the point of attack. And on that play, that was all the defense. They made it happen. The Redskins on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and seven. Now Smith. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. Now that play is blown up. Losing yardage back at the 35. That'll set them back with a loss of three on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. I love the intelligence the defense just showed there. Read their keys, saw the screen developing, ran to it, and smothered it. What a third down stop by them. Here's Tressway now as he'll kick it away for the second time. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. And a great job here. This is gonna turn out to be a beauty. This is marked down at about the three-yard line. The offense takes the field, and we turn our attention to Saquon Barkley. It's the second quarter, his team has the lead, but I think he's hoping for a little bit more production out of himself. And we often talk about preaching patience to a runner when things are a little bumpy in the early going, but we have to do the same thing with the offensive line. They can't wait to halftime to make the adjustments. They have to do it from series to series for those surface tablets come into play. Check out what the defense is doing and see if they can find a better way to run it. So they search for that patience here now. They begin with a run by Barkley. And able to get it across the 10 to the 15. Trying to find some space to operate, and now they'll have it, a gain of 12, a big first down to get away from the end zone. I guess it's good we can't really read the mind of the defensive coordinator now, huh? Had him pinned back there deep, give up that run. Can't be happy. Yeah, whatever was, whatever is in his mind right now, we probably couldn't say over the air. And now they have a little more space to maneuver from the 15, first and 10. They keep it with Barkley on first down. And he's going to lose yardage here back to the 14-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case, and that play got bottled up. Play action, Manning. Toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. The Giants on third down. They've been near perfect, four for five to this point. This is third and 11.
from the gun, it's Manning. And that is incomplete. Quentin Dunbar right there on the coverage. It certainly looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. Here's Riley Dixon now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. This is Harris. Well, he wasn't too far from breaking that. Officially, give him 15. And it'll be Redskins football now with a first and 10. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. Smith and the Redskins will come up now first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 48. They go play action here on first down. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that. But it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. Here's Smith. Quick hitch, complete. It's Harris. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. The Redskins on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This will be third and six. Ready, fight, Eddie. Out of the gun, Smith. And this is gonna be incomplete. Check 50, check 50. Let's face it, perfection is something we all chase, whether it's playing this game or whatever we do. Hard to attain, but that's what they were searching for as that pass goes incomplete. Here's Tressway now, as he's on to punt for Washington. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Eli Manning and company getting set here as they head back onto the field. And he's looked pretty good. Does have the one interception, but two touchdown passes so far. Your analysis. They'll take the offset. When you talk about throwing two touchdown passes, no one wants to see an interception thrown, but those things happen in the course of a ball game and over the course of a season. But throwing two touchdown passes, that's why the team has an advantage. That's what they're looking for more of. They'll be hoping to make it a three to one ratio here in the second quarter. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Well, a well-executed blitz, no doubt. Great job by the linebacker. Maybe the quarterback, if he could have seen that, could have audibled there. Yeah, he needed to be in a different play because that one just meshed perfectly for the defense. All the gaps were filled, except for the one the offense really wanted to run through, and that was filled by a big man wanting to make a tackle. And he made a great tackle. On second down, here's Barkley. And he's going to lose yardage here. Back to his own 18. 
It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. The evaluation process in today's NFL does not take into account as much bulk as it does speed, and that's what we're seeing with the linebacker position. Those guys that can run, they can play at any spot because they can make plays on the opposite side of the line of scrimmage. The Giants on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This is going to be third and 13. Set. Two eight. Two eight. Set. From the gun, Manning. And this one is incomplete. That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way. A dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because when he's doing that kind of work, it really hurts you on the back end. And even though it's an incompletion there, I think they're going back to that well. A big kick that time, 52 yards. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Alex Smith and company heading back out there now. Been a decent start for him here in this first half, but they're losing. And I think as the captain of the offense, you probably always feel like you need to do more in that situation. The best have always felt that way. And they won't settle for anything less. So right now, his goal is to increase what he's doing on the field, try to make sure his teammates come along with him. And he feels like if I do better, everyone will do better. And that's what we're seeing from him right now. Got to have a little extra determination. Yeah, a little extra determination. He has thrown the touchdown pass. No interceptions for him personally to this point. Josh Doxson's got it complete. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. A gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Smith toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. He was looking for Jamison Crowder there, and it'll bring up third down. Let's face it, you can run the route tree as many times as you want, get in sync, practice it, do all those things. But once you get to game speed, it doesn't always time up quite that well. That one goes incomplete. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. A shotgun snap for Smith. And that is incomplete. Janoris Jenkins with good coverage that time as he was able to get in there and knock it away. Well, they've had a pretty frustrating first half here offensively, and that just continued there with that incompletion. Yeah, definitely frustrating for them, but heartening for the other guys. Those stop troops, they're enjoying things right now because they've made it very difficult for them throughout the half. Here's Tressway now. He's been terrific so far. Averaging over 50 yards a punt so far as this one's away. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. And now out come the Giants. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Manning and the Giants come up now first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. To throw is Manning. And his throw is incomplete. He was looking for Evan Ingram, the tight end. And that'll bring up second down. Well, with that incompletion, let's look back, Charles, to the NFC title game. We had two excellent conference championship games, but on the NFC side, the Rams winning in overtime thanks to Greg Zerline. He had two huge kicks, but that was really overshadowed because afterwards, obviously, everyone talking about the no call. Yeah, and we should be talking about Legatron. A 48-yarder to get them to overtime. The 57-yarder to win it in overtime. 
he should be the guy who should be exalted right now, but you're exactly right. Nikhil Roby Coleman's hit on Tommy Lee Lewis in regulation, when I saw it live, thought it was a bang-bang play. Turned out, it was definitely a missed call. Plus, they missed helmet-to-helmet -helmet contact on it as well. So if you're a Saints fan, you are very unexcited about the Rams advancing to the Super Bowl, but I still don't want pass interference to become a reviewable call. The game flow is paramount to me. Let's not slow it down any more than it already is. Yeah, it could be a slippery slope, then you start doing it with everything, oh, right? Oh, next thing you know, we'll be reviewing holding. Mm -hmm. And by the way, you can probably call holding just about every play in the NFL. Manning now over 200 yards already in this first half. It's first and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. Manning to throw on second down to Shepard complete over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 13 yards as the quick slant keeps the drive moving. And now with that completion, he's north of 200 yards here in the first half. And he's going to break our statistician, Marvin, isn't he? Because <laughs> Marvin right now is just tallying it up. Hope his hand doesn't hurt too much doing this or keeps hitting the calculator. But my goodness, what a start he is off to. By the end of this game, he could have monster numbers. He just wants to continue to be accurate. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Here's Manning to throw. Over the middle complete. That's Shepard. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 12 more yards there and another first down. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Manning now on first down. And the Redskins do get to him. He goes down for a sack. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. On play action, now Manning. And incomplete there, a nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Those passes out that far wide always make you hold your breath a little bit. Felt like it was in the air for a while. What it does is it allows a defender to gain some ground, come from a long distance, and have a chance to affect the pass. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Operating from the gun, Manning. Finding his target, it's Cody Latimer. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. 14 yards is the pick up there, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. Aldrick Rosas now to try the Giants' field goal. This will be spotted at the 37, so it's a 47-yard attempt. Two minutes to go here in the first half. Back to FedEx Field following this short break. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman. He's in Orlando, and he'll have our EA Sports halftime report.
Aldrich Rosas now to try the Giants' field goal. This will be spotted at the 37, so it's a 47-yard attempt. And Rosas puts this one through. And they will move up by 10 now, 17-7. to So the scoring drive encompasses nine plays, and the net result, three points. Take your disappointment and put it aside. Nine plays, yeah, they want to end up in the end zone with a touchdown. I get that. But sometimes those nine-play drives pay dividends later with another nine-play drive that culminates in a touchdown when they wear down a defense. After the field goal, here's Rosas to kick it away. Marshall now, the return. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Redskins offense now, they head back onto the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll push his way forward to about the 32. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Clock running as the Redskins try to hurry up. Throwing is Smith. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Thompson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. Back to throw, Smith. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sacked back at the 46. Smith trying to get him to the line quickly with the clock rolling. On second down, here's Smith. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off at about the 31. Oh, Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball. And I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. Odell Beckham now marching back onto the field. He's doing what he's capable of, having a solid game. Not, not the most amazing game. He's not over 100 yards, but a good game so far. And you just know that mentally, he feels like he's one catch away from turning it into a great game and starting on that road. And the defenders are well aware of that, too. They've got to figure out a way to not let that escalate. Keep him right in this zone here and call it a day because otherwise he can really decimate them. Better believe they are well aware of his playmaking ability. So after the INT, it's Manning. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. Well, they're slinging it. And then there's one you got to put a timer on, huh? I mean, that one came in hot. That came in hot, but overthrown out of his reach and incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Throwing again. Manning. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. The Giants on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. This is third and 10. From the gun, Manning. And now another one thrown incomplete. 
The goal of anyone running a curl route is to make sure you try and get defenders on your back and shield them away from the football. But sometimes even when you run a good route, the defense finds a way to knock it away. Here's Riley Dixon now as he's on to punt for New York. Smith and the offense heading out for their next possession. He's had a solid start to this game, but bottom line is they're losing, so he doesn't care about his stats. He just wants to right the ship on the scoreboard. He wants to actually increase his stats because he feels like if he does, that means things will get better for his team, maybe get him back into the ball game or into the lead. In these situations, I remember playing with a quarterback once where he actually ran out onto the field first ahead of everyone else just to say, guys, Let's go. Try and create that energy, create that spark. Well, so far he has one touchdown, one interception. He'll be looking for that second touchdown now. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Now before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout. As they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. So the offensive unit called the T.O. And now we are ready to resume play. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. From the gun, here's Smith. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. He was looking to get that one to Chris Thompson, and it's third and short. This defense has been very disruptive early on as they force another one to go awry. Seems to be the front and the back end. Pass rush, they've been able to get home, and they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back working in sync, only way to play good defense. Smith on third down. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. So the offense takes the timeout, and they are back out and ready to rock. First down. Fighting a safety valve here. That's complete. It'll be a two-yard gain, and that'll bring up second down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Again, Smith. And he can't get away from the pressure. The Giants get there. And now maybe they want some extra time to talk about this third and long play as we'll get a timeout. As they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. And welcome back, the offensive unit. They took the timeout, and now they get set to line up as we resume action.
These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Throwing on third down, Smith. And he drops this off to Thompson, complete. And now the Giants will stop play as they take a timeout defensively, as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. So a defensive timeout, chance to regather, regroup, and get set as we resume action. Here's Tressway now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Time for one final snap as they start out first and ten. And with time running down, they go down to a knee. So we come upon halftime here with the visiting Giants out on top as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Our game has been the play of Eli Manning. That's been the story so far. He's thrown for over 200 yards already, and his guys have the lead as well. As we get you back to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. That's fielded in the end zone, and they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Now the Redskins offense, they get set to go back to work here. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But, but this you're is a do that? I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. The third quarter starts with a run by Peterson. Looking for a crease, can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. It'll be a pickup of five, and that leaves him with five more. Third and five now. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. 
Ready. Five, eight, eight. Eight, From the gun on third down, Smith. Throw left side is complete to Reed. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Here's Tressway now, as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. Officially, that'll go as a 52-yard punt. Not too shabby. And it'll be Giant football first and 10. Here's the Giants' offense now getting set to start the third quarter. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Now how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude <laughs> by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. Manning and the Giants come up now first and 10 at their own 18. Now Manning. Throw left side complete to Ingram. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Seeing that play and understanding just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays, makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here with me. Yeah, and that's fun, isn't it? And <laughs> what a really nice game right there on first down for them. Brings up a nice second down for them. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves them with a very manageable second and one. They fake the handoff. Now Manning. Open man right side is Ingram. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. That, I believe, will put him over 100 yards receiving for the game. Yes, it will. And he's got a first down to boot. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is that right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Throwing on first down is Manning. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Well, we always talk about how you've got to be quick when you go through your progressions. And here's another prime example. Trying to look downfield, he was standing in the pocket. But just couldn't find anyone open, could he? No, not enough time. They hit him and forced that incompletion. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. Manning will try again on second down. And he comes back with one complete. Well, he had a quick little spin move, but the door shut fast as he's dropped. That catch good for five. It's third down. What terrifies defenses when they see slant routes thrown is that the receiver is on the move, and oftentimes he catches it and gets upfield. Has a really nice job rallying to him and stopping him for a minimal gain. The Giants on third down, not quite 50%, four for nine. This will be third and five. Again, it's Manning. Over the middle, complete. It's Shepard. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. Whether you're playing West Coast offense or not, one of the maxims of the West Coast offense is you're either throwing a touchdown or a check down. In other words, look for the big shot, but be smart. I think they did exactly that on that play. They didn't get the first down, but they're taking care of the ball well. Yeah, and being rightly cautious with that lead here in the second half. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. Smith and the Redskins will come up now first and 10 at the 20. Ready, 
They try to fire up the run game with Adrian Peterson. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. If these guys are going to chop into that deficit, they got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage, no yardage would be found. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. They run again with Peterson. And there just continues to be nowhere to run. He's bottled up again at the line of scrimmage. No gain that time, and it leaves him with third and 11 coming up. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. To throw on third down. Smith. He finds his target. It's Crowder. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. I said, fly! They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. Josh Morrow on the stop. Partner, I think from our experience together, we have learned that most offensive coordinators are gonna tell you if I'm gonna run the football on first down, I've got to get at least four yards. They got five here. They've got to feel pretty good about that one. Again, a run with Thompson. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that plan any down. Now it's AP, Adrian Peterson. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Smith. Out to the left here to Reed. Give him a couple on the catch at second and eight. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case the feet, did a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. Here's Smith. He'll go over the middle to Reed, complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. He's up to 70 yards receiving now as that last catch gets him a first down. His position, and he's listed as a tight end, but he certainly doesn't run like one, and that's what we're seeing more and more coming into the league. Those guys who can run, make plays after the catch, and gain that additional yardage. And using that speed there to turn it into a pretty nice little game.
Back to the ground, Peterson. And he is into the end zone for a Washington touchdown. Adrian Peterson, an 18-yard touchdown run. And the Redskins are able to make this a close game again. And there you go, nothing really too complex. Block, keep to your assignments, let them run it in, they did it. Fundamental football, good blocking, beats good tackling on that play, and result, touchdown. Here's Hopkins now for the extra point. Extra point good by Hopkins. And the lead's down to a field goal at 17-14. So that drive, 80 yards, nine plays. And it's capped off by a touchdown run by Adrian Peterson. Here's Hopkins now out to kick it away. This will be taken short. And he will be brought down here at about the 17-yard line. Eli Manning getting ready to go again on offense. How do you think he personally is evaluating his game so far? He was pretty good in the first half, been good so far here in the third quarter. He's got to like it, right? Not looking for the dramatics here. Not trying to set the world on fire in terms of stats. It's almost like you're driving. Hands at 10 and 2, alert for anything <laughs> out there, watching for trouble on the road, and making sure you get the team home. The bus driver. See if he can drive the bus here again on this drive. On first down, Manning toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. I hope I don't sound too rah-rah on that one, but that's the exact right throw. Either your receiver gets it or no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it. Got rid of it. No one got it. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. A handoff to Barkley. And a short pickup there as he'll take this up to right around the 20. And give the tackle there to Josh Norman. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And 4C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. The Giants on third down. They're right at about the league average, 40%, 4 for 10. This is third and seven. Working from the gun, Manning. And this is going to be incomplete. And sensing the momentum may be changing here a little bit, Charles. Yeah, this defense is going to get off the field quickly, and their offense got them a touchdown last time they had the ball, so they should get another shot. Here's Riley Dixon now, as he's on to punt for New York. Harris now to return. It'll go as a 50-yard punt, six yards on the return. And possession will switch hands first and 10. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And things are starting to move in the right direction. They get the touchdown last drive, then their defense gets them the football back. Yeah, now they have a chance to get the lead if they can put something together here. And I'm eager to see how they decide to do it. Do they want to be methodical, or do they want to take the big strike and go after it right now? Smith and the Redskins will come up now first and 10 at the 33-yard line. Get 
They go play action here on first down. Trying to lay one up deep. And he's got it. What a catch on the sideline. A gain of 32 that time. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator's looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. Peterson gets the call running left. And a solid run down inside the 30. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. I think we can safely say that those types of players are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. Here's Smith now on second down. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him without weakening our overall defense? You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. Peterson. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Michael Thomas on the stop. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. Again, Peterson. And this carry not as productive. He swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. I think what we just saw there, partner, was linebacking speed that can trump O-line power. We see that at times because he filled the gap before the offensive lineman could get to the next level and take him on. Here's Smith from the gun on third down. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around a 30. Kareem Martin able to track him down for a loss of 13. And it'll bring up fourth down. Well, we knew this guy wasn't especially fleet of foot, but he tried to conjure up some escapability, but there was no way he was getting away on that one. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. From the right hash, it's a 46-yard attempt. And Hopkins' kick is good. And that will tie things at 17-all. So he missed that field goal earlier, but he says not this time. Able to knock it through, give his guys three. I like his poise. I like his confidence, his belief in himself. Sometimes when you miss that first one, you see a lot of guys sag, and they can't make the next one. Not in this case. Stepped right up like a pro. So we're right back where we started, all even as the kick's away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. 
Here's the Giant offense now making their way back out onto the field. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Manning and the Giants come up now first and 10 at their own 23. Looking to get the ground game going with Stewart. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it. Indeed, here come the flags. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that one looked pretty easy. Yeah, yeah you're right. Down. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a five-yard or a 15-yard inadvertent or not. Now, it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. The face mask moves them all the way out past the 40 now for first down. Now Manning. Over the middle to back him. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. That one goes for 24 yards. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. Manning now a perfect 8-for-8 eight eight to start the second half. Not bad. First and 10. From the gun, it's Manning. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. This quarterback now over 300 yards now for the game and time to improve on that as he's got a first and 10. Now a handoff to Sestur. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. A loss of a full three yards and now it's second down. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. to throw on second down. And this is caught at the end. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Eli Manning with his third touchdown pass of the afternoon. And the Giants have broken our tie as they take the lead. I know we often laugh and sometimes we even exalt the guys who are great trash talkers and give us some really funny lines. But the bottom line is absolute production on the field. His second touchdown of the game, and they lead. And now they'll be looking to their defense to preserve that lead. Rosas now to add the PAT. Oh, this is blocked. And the defense has it. But he doesn't get far. They're able to stop him. Yeah, and after all that, the extra point attempt unsuccessful. Oftentimes when you give up a touchdown, it's really a deflation for your entire unit. The special teams group, when they run out there, they still feel it, and maybe they don't go after it so much. Instead, they gave great effort there, blocked the extra point, and really gave them a lift after giving up the score. Yeah, gave up the touchdown, lost the lead, but a nice job to get in there and block it.
Rosas now to kick this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. And at least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that <laughs> weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive in with a kick, <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Smith and the Redskins will come up now first and 10 at their own 26. They start the drive with Peterson. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Whenever we meet with coaches and they always talk about wanting to establish running the football, it's oftentimes with a good tight end who can control the line of scrimmage and the point of attack, and they're becoming harder to find because the colleges are giving us a whole lot of receiving tight ends, former wide receivers who can run, not necessarily block very well. In this case, though, we saw two tight ends on the field, both of them with the ability to block, and he ran the ball successfully behind that power set. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now a play fake here on first down. Wide open receiver complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now at FedEx Field. It's the Redskins with the football, but trailing here as we get down to the good stuff. Quarter number four. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. On first and 10, Smith. And it's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Janoris Jenkins with good coverage that time as he was able to get in there and knock it away. And that incompletion was caused by the defense. I think they were trying to get one into the middle of the field, trying to find a receiver there. But they were in zone defense. And what are the advantages of being in zone? Eyes and reaction. Eyes meaning all eyes are on the quarterback and able to react when he throws the football and rally to that spot. And that's exactly what happened there. Able to get there and knock it away. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Back to the air. Smith on second down. Doxon with a grab over the middle. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Smith finding Doxon that time for a Washington first. Play action. Here's Smith looking for the end zone. And this is taken in for a Redskins touchdown. Paul Richardson, 29 yards. And now the Redskins, if they hit the PAT, they will have the lead. And a great example there of just getting the feet in in a tough spot. It seems like every year these guys get better at this. Well, I think the drills get better that they work on training camp, off-season work, OTAs. But also, a lot of these guys have dance backgrounds, ballet backgrounds, and they take that and carry it over to the football field.
After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. It took them an extra look, but they found out it is a touchdown indeed. The official says this one counts. Now it's Hopkins to add the extra point. A very important extra point there, up and good. And they have taken the lead here in this fourth quarter. Five plays there on that drive. And the result, a touchdown for Washington. Here's Hopkins now out to kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll wind up getting an extra couple yards here for his trouble as he'll bring this one out to the 27. The Giants offense now gets ready to head back onto the field. and the Giants come up now first and 10 at their own 27. Shotgun now for Manning. To Barkley on the check down. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. Give him two yards on that play, and it'll make it a second down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense... Be aware, a ball may come your way. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Manning. Get the connection there. It's incomplete. Before the game, they were running the route tree about as efficiently and effectively as we could have possibly imagined, but sometimes the passes just go awry. Yeah, let's face it. When you're running the route tree in pregame, you don't have defenders breathing down your neck. You don't have defensive backs making plays on the football. Hard to replicate the intensity of the game in pregame. Throwing his Manning on third down. It's caught, Shepard. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. He got 29 yards that time. And the Giants' all-time leader in passing yards and completions and touchdowns, just another connection. No doubt about it. That's the Eli Manning we know, pushing the ball downfield and with proficiency. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Again, they'll throw with Manning. And that's incomplete. Evan Ingram was the intended target. And now it's second down. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here. But that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open. And this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass. Incomplete. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Manning again here on second and 10. Caught left side. It's Beckham. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. A giant first down, Manning to an open Beckham. Right. 
Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Manning now on first down. Throw left side, complete to Ingram. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. A gain of six there on first. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Now Manning again. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. What a methodical drive this is turning out to be. That time nine yards and the sticks move again. If you're running out route, it's likely you're gonna end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The toe tap. You got it, the benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up and making sure it was a catch. Into the red zone now, Manning. Oh no, he lost the football. Into the Redskins, have it, they do. And they had it there so close to the goal line, a chance to take it across, claim the lead here in the fourth. Boy, that was a big, big mistake. It really was, and as much as I want to give credit to the defense for making a play, I do tend to agree with you, that mistake that, that's a chance to go in and take, take the lead. I mean, you're in great shape, yet you don't take care of the football. But they'll be going over that like crazy in the upcoming weeks. Adrian Peterson now getting ready to go again on offense. And in the early going, the running game, as we see the numbers, it just wasn't on point. Well, now it's gotten more true to form. And sometimes it takes a little while for an offensive line to get in sync. Because early in a game, defenses throw different patterns at you, different formations, different sets. And you might not block them quite the way you want to, but as you start to get into a groove and you figure out what they're doing, now it all comes together, and that's what we're seeing right now. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Alec Ogletree in on the stop. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. Now Smith throwing the out route incomplete. It's Richardson. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. The reception good for seven. It's third down. But that's what you're looking for when you're wanting to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. A second down completion got him seven. Now here's third and three. They'll try and get it with Geis. They get six on the pick up there as the drive will continue. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously, but at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Pushing forward for three up to the 48. Offensively with the lead, you want to run the ball, keep the clock going, but you also want to still kind of be in attack mode too, right? So how do you do that and not come back on your heels? Yeah, think about all the practices we've watched where they have that tempo period to go over things just like this, where they describe the scenario, tell you what they're looking for, and make sure that they're still attacking, yet at the same time not going so fast as to leave too much time on the clock. And nowhere really to go there. He'll take this up just shy of midfield. Tackle made that time by Dalvin Tomlinson. 
Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Throwing on third down, Smith completes it right side to Dodson. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. It's a 10-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. Couldn't just sit on it here, could they? Had to throw the ball third down, got the big completion in the pickup. Fresh set of downs now. They've got to feel great. And defensively a backbreaker. Two first downs have him up to the 41 now for first and 10. Now a first down throw, it's Smith. Now to the left here to Reed. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. It's another 10 yards on that one and another first down. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down, stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. to the ground game now with Geis finding room to the 20 and all the way down to the 17-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice gains that one for 14 yards and another first. When the coaching staff sees their team run the ball this successfully in the fourth quarter, they're really excited because you can plan for a running game all you want and want to press that advantage when you get it, but for the most part, it's a little bit of a surprise. And right now, they've got to keep that going want to continue to grind out the clock because it's definitely in their favor at this stage of the game. Can they close the game out and continue to do exactly what we just saw there? And that's run the football. Now Smith. Defenders giving chase, but I don't think they're going to get there. Pass the 20. And he will not get all the way home, but he will take this back down to about the two-yard line. As much football as we watch, we've seen this work many times. In the red zone, first down, take a shot at the end zone, and points result. In this case, though, give credit to the defense. They outguessed them, were prepared, and intercepted the pass. comes the Giants offense back out onto the field and they'll be looking to atone for last time's mistake of fumbling inside the red zone certainly they don't want to do that again and so much emphasis placed on red zone offense I mean you have periods devoted in practice just for that because everyone knows how vital it is to put points on the board when you've entered that part of the field and to come away with nothing that's difficult for a team to handle and difficult and now we'll see if they can make it less difficult on themselves on this drive So after the INT, it's Manning, and he's got it. Touchdown, Giants. Saquon Barkley, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the G-Men have taken the lead here in the fourth. Well, that didn't take long. The turnover instantly almost turning into points. And when that happens, a lot of teams have the mentality of let's strike right now. You've got them off balance after the turnover or the takeaway. Let's go get it, and that's exactly what they did. Here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. They're going to keep it on the ground. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. 
Well, they couldn't be happy that they were having to stop a two-point conversion because that means they gave up a touchdown. But a little solace there. You saw some good gang tackling stacking him up before he can get to the end zone. We talk about offensive units putting in more two-point period sessions in practice. Defensively, do you do the same? Absolutely. You have to because you never know how aggressive these offenses are going to be in games nowadays. Rosas now to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Alex Smith and company heading back out there now. And the interception that ended their previous drive, that might be one we look back on and say that was the turning point of this game. Hey, partner, guess what? There's still time for a few more turning points in this ball game. They're only one score down. Yeah, true. I mean, we could have some twists and turns. Stay tuned. Smith and the Redskins will come up now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Dancing. And now the ball's loose. Smith loses it. And who's got it? The Giants. He had gained really good yardage, but that's what you tell your quarterbacks, right? Get down after you've got the run. You don't have to prove your toughness. You know, I think that's what a lot of coaches are trying to preach to their guys. Get the yardage, get down, protect the football, and protect yourself from extra hits as well. And New York set to take the field. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. So the fumble recovery, and now Manning. He dumps it off to Barkley. He'll get a couple yards on that one, and it'll bring up a second down. Was that a receiver? <laughs> yeah, actually it was. It was a running back who was a receiver on the play. I think he's been spending time in the receiver drills getting his feet down. Well, those guys out of the backfield, they got to be good, agile with their feet. He showed the agility there with a the toe tap. No doubt about it. It's like he'd went to ballet school, got the toes down, and stayed in bounds. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Now a play fake. Manning, and he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. Preston Smith coming on the blitz. He gets him for a loss of seven. Yeah, we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, Oftentimes, the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. Third and long for the Giants and Eli following the sack. Working from the gun, Manning. Throw left side complete. That's Shepard. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. Throwing on. 
on first down is Manning. He'll complete this to Ingram as tight end. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Oh no, he lost the football. But I believe the Giants got this back and they will hold on to the possession. Wow, that ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. And the Redskins have an extra man in the secondary here on third. The handoff comes to Stewart. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Brandon, this can be so demoralizing for a defense. They've had two opportunities to get off the field. They haven't gotten it done. So now your coordinator, he's going to call every blitz that he has, any type of exotic, something that they haven't seen before. And he's also telling the defensive linemen, don't worry about holding people up. Just get in gaps and try and make a big play. And not only not getting off the field on two opportunities, clock continuing to run. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. They'll try and run for it with Barkley. And he stopped immediately there. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. He's fumbled already once, Charles. I'm not going to say that that was in his mind there, but I'm sure that during some of these plays, he is mindful of it. And once you fumble the ball, you know what your team tells you and your coaching staff? Take care of it, rest of the game. And that does get in your mind a little bit, and sometimes that slows down your effort in trying to get free from tacklers. And the defenders know it too. They sniff that out, don't they? Everybody wants to swarm the football, you know. And he's going to go down, sacked right around the 17. Brandon, more often than not, you'd say they've had his number, and we can count them up so far. One, two, three, four sacks given up. But guess what? He's still been able to make some plays, and right now they have a lead. Third and long for the Giants and Eli following the sack. Here's Barkley, and they'll lose yardage here. Knocked back to the 19-yard line. He lost two, and it brings up four. Well, forget about finding a lane there. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Probably fortunate he was able to hold on to the football. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. They're looking at a fourth down now as they try to hold on to this lead for dear life. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. From the left hash, it's a 36-yard attempt. And the kick by Rosas is good. And that'll push the lead up to eight. 
Now from a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position, but it's not out of reach yet, okay? Being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. After the field goal, here's Rosas to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Alex Smith and the offense heading out for their next possession. This is something we've seen many times over the course of his career. Can he pull off another fourth-quarter comeback? And it's very strange, isn't it? Because when it's a player of this magnitude, even though the guys on defense have the lead and are sitting in the best spot, they're maybe the most nervous people in the stadium because they've seen this happen to too many people before, too many teams. They've got to find a way to shut him down. Here we go again for the grizzled vet. He'll look to throw and read with it over the middle. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Back to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Richardson. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. That's good for a Redskin first down. Richardson on the reception from Smith. He's back to throw. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That goes for a gain of 31. First down now, but that clock rolling. They'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. There have been quite a few plays they might look back on and say, we really have hurt ourselves, and that was another example. And this is late game execution. Everything on the line, so it all has to come together properly. The throw's made. Where's the catch? Got to catch in that spot. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. Back to throw. Crowder's got it over the middle. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Now Smith. He finds his target. It's Crowder. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Smith now to throw. And that is, I think he caught it. He did, but they'll say out of bounds. It'll be incomplete. A couple extra defensive backs out there in the dime, and because of that, really not many places to throw the football, if any. And typically, what would you want to do against that dime? Run the football. You want to run the ball, but you can't do it in this situation. Not nearly enough time on the clock. You have to really navigate against a tough defense presented against you. They'll come out in the pistol. Now we've got whistles here before the snap. Was this on the Redskins? I think so. All start offense. Things made a little more difficult after the false start as they try again on second and goal. Smith. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his huddle. Got to totally command it, make sure all eyes are on him, all focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. 
Two incompletions haven't moved him any closer. And likely throwing again, you'd have to think, on third and goal here. To throw is Smith. That's complete right around the eight. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Able to hold him to just two yards, and now it's fourth and goal. Now we've got whistles here before the snap. Was this on the Redskins? I think so. False start, offense. Likely the play of the game here, trailing in the final quarter and going for it on fourth and goal. One last throw here for Smith. And this is going to be caught on the final play, a touchdown. How about that? And a two-point conversion now will send us to overtime. And understandably, this crowd is in an absolute frenzy. But they've got to back it off a little bit, let the guys operate, and they need to take a deep breath as well. They've still got to get a two-point conversion in order to tie this one. No time on the clock. Are we going to overtime, or does it end right here? One final shot, they'll look to throw. And that is caught for the two points. And we've got free football, four quarters done, and we're dead even. We'll have overtime after this timeout. a little teaching moment here overtime rules remind us how this goes partner okay so in the past we had sudden death first team to score wins but no longer now if the team receives the ball scores a touchdown they win the game if they kick a field goal though or don't score the other team gets a possession and after both teams get a possession then we're into sudden death first team to score wins the game So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. Fielded about a yard deep. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. The New York set to take the field, except for their first drive here in overtime, and this is where the crowd can really become a factor. They've had to battle it all day but I know what you're saying. In overtime, that gets doubled, doesn't it? At least, because now the crowd really wants to be involved and help their team, and that first drive can dictate the whole thing because they know if this team takes it downfield and scores a touchdown, it's game over. It's been loud in here so far. Manning and the Giants come up now first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Now Saquon Barkley. Oh, look at the juke. And not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. Tackle made there by Zach Brown. Short gain there to start overtime. Almost a tester play, wasn't it? Wanted to see if the guys on defense were going to fit the gaps the correct way because we're in overtime. So it's not just physical tiredness out there, right? Mentally, are you still doing what you're supposed to do? And they were up to the task on that play. And certainly fatigue on both sides of the football. On second down, they run with Stewart. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Give him 10 yards on that one, and that'll earn him a fresh set of downs. And that run was what a lot of people call an explosive run. Gave them good yardage, solid yardage. They feel good about the whole thing, and they did it behind a two tight end set. It's always interesting to watch what offenses want to do with the two tight ends. Sometimes they line them up together for a power set. Sometimes they put one on each side of the line of scrimmage to balance things out. No matter what, though, when you see two tight ends on the field, your first thought is to think run. In this case, the offense was able to run successfully. First throw of overtime here for Manning. To Shepard, complete over the middle. 
And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. A gain of six there on first. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes when they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. But just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Right back to him on first down. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. Here's a give to Barkley. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. Hey, a lot of points have been scored in this game, but what a nice play by the defense. Stepping up on that one, maybe they'll get things going in their direction after a play like that. The last two plays, each lose a yard. They'll try to move forward here on third and 12. Shotgun now for Manning. And that is incomplete. Well done by the defense. They did their job here in overtime. Boy, did they ever, because now it's fourth and really long. So if you do decide to go for it, People think you might be a little bit on the nut side, don't they? But guess what? If I did decide to go for it, I'd call something deep. <laughs> I'd throw a deep pass and hope that the defense didn't remember to just knock it down. If they intercept it, it's almost like a great punt and helps out your defense with field position. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. Their defense did its job, got the stop. All they need is three, and this is over. Couldn't have done much else other than score themselves and end it, but they turned it back over to them, and now all they need is a field goal to win the game. An excellent job by the defense. Can the offense finish things off? Yeah, part one is done, now part two. Smith and the Redskins will come up now first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Here's Peterson as they begin on the ground. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They run again on first down, Peterson. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Carry win, the one to bring him down. 
And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends. They're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. They'll run it now out of the gun. Not much there. Maybe a couple up to the 35. And five in the secondary now for the Giants on third down. Set, line, 80. Nice tonight, huh? nice now Smith with his first throw of OT. And he drops this off to Thompson complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. It's a first down. And on that last play there, he's over 400 yards passing now. You know what that generally means? Success. <laughs> that, and it means you really didn't miss opportunities. Usually very accurate. The ball's getting to the right place. Guys are making yardage after the catch to help you out that way. I mean, the whole team has picked it up. And don't forget, that means the offensive line has had to pass protect pretty well, too. Yeah, everyone dialed in. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 48-yard line. Another tote for the workhorse here this afternoon, Peterson. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping... Those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. To throw on second down is Smith. He'll go over the middle to Reed complete. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Six yards is the pickup and that'll lead to a third down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. They face a third and four after that last completion gets them six. Out of the gun, Smith. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he's going to get this inside the 30. That one good for 15 and a first. He's padding his already great numbers here in overtime. More importantly, though, moving his guys downfield. And I think that's exactly what's going through his head right now. Moving them downfield, putting them in a position to win the game. The stats, that's for the fantasy guys. <laughs> I know they're enjoying that show. Carry number 20 now for Peterson. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. 25 yards to pick up there and also a first down. That was a heck of a sprint. Tried to get to the end zone, didn't quite get there. Just short out of bounds at the two-yard line. I know the defense is relieved he didn't get to the end zone. And the guy was carrying the ball a little frustrated. He didn't make it all the way. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Step it. And he's into the end zone for the touchdown and the game winner in OT. Great game that we got to see and making it extra special. Not only did I get four quarters with you in this one, I got some overtime. A little whipped cream on top. Look at you. Tried to make this whole thing pound. I just want you to pay for my meal later. Hey, you really just wanted four quarters, <laughs> what you wanted. But how much fun was that? We had that type of a game where we got us to overtime, and then we get the dramatic ending to finish things off as well. What a game. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. It's a win for the Redskins as we say so long from FedEx Field.